بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وآله اللهم اجعل تجمعنا هذا تجمعا مرحوما واجعل تفرقنا من بعده تفرقا معصوما ولا تجعل يا الله فينا ولا بيننا شقيا ولا محرومة Brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to another short reminder this week. Um, last week we spoke about the story of Barsis and the footsteps of the shaytan. We spoke about the two verses from Surah Al-Hashr. And we spoke about how the shaytan slowly drags you into deviance and disbelief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inshallah, this week I want to speak to you about a statement from Shaykh Ali Tantawi rahimahullah. And he was a recent scholar who passed away not too, too long ago. And subhanAllah, he had a statement that has always uh, resonated with me. He said, I looked in the Quran and I found many verses where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna Allah yuhibbu al-muttaqeen. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves the pious. And he said, and will I look deep in myself? I found that I'm not amongst the pious. He said, I looked again in the Quran. He said, I found that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna Allah yuhibbu sabirin. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves the ones who are patient. And when I looked within myself, I found that I am not amongst the patient. He said, I looked more. And I found that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna Allah yuhibbu muhsinin. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves those who do good, do a lot of good. And when I looked deep into myself, I found that I was not amongst them. And he says, then later, I looked in the Quran and I said, I found the verse of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Inna Allah yuhubbu tawwabin. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves those who repent. And I looked at myself and I found that I am a person who commits sins and is repenting. And this is a topic for today, inshallah, repentance to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. See, repentance is actually, we are ordered to repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, بَعْدَ عَذُوا بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا تُوبُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ تَوْبَةً نَصُوحًا O you who believe, repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in sincere repentance. And Subhanallah, repentance has so many benefits. But before you can say that you have repented, there are conditions. One of the first conditions that you need to keep into your mind when you want to repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that you must feel regret. You cannot commit a sin and then you say, oh, astaghfirullah. And deep inside, you don't feel that regret. You have to feel that regret because otherwise you're not being truthful in your repentance. And some people will say, you know what? I didn't commit a large sin. And there is a famous statement that says, لا تنظر إلى صغر ذنبك ولكن انظر إلى عظمة من عصيت. says, do not look at how small your sin is, but look at the greatness of he who you disobeyed. So look at the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the fact that you disobeyed him, not how small your sin is. So you must have sincere regret to what you had done. Another thing is, you must stop that sin. It's another condition. You know, some people, they have sincere regret about smoking, for example. But they continue to smoke. So you have to stop that action. And the third condition is that you must have sincere intention not to get back to it again. Now, in the case that you do get back to it, what do you do? Will you just give up? You see, this is what the shaitan will want you to do right away. Remember, we spoke about the footsteps of the shaitan. He will come to you and he'll tell you, you know what? You did that same sin last week or yesterday. And today you're doing it. You're definitely not in sincere in your repentance. So why don't you just give up? This is the first thing that the shaitan will tell you. And you have to prove the shaitan wrong by repenting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will always forgive you so long as you repent. And your repentance 
happens before the sun rises from the west. No matter what the sin is, unless it's ishraq with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the associating partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this sin cannot be forgiven. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يَغْفِرُ يُشْرَكَ بِهِ وَيَغْفِرُ مَا دُونَ ذَلِكَ لِمَنْ يَشَاءَ That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not forgive uh, being worshipped with partners or having partners associated to him. And he forgives whomever he wishes, whom, uh, whatever he wishes for whomever uh, he wishes. So it's important to constantly repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you will find that the generosity of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cannot be matched by anyone. If you look in Surah Al-Furqan, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will mention the uh, descriptions of Ibad al-Rahman, the slaves of al-Rahman, the slaves of the most compassionate. And he says, وَالَّذِينَ لَا يَدْعُونَ مَعَ اللَّهِ إِلَهًا آخَرَةً وَلَا يَقْتُلُونَ النَّفْسَ الَّتِي حَرَّمَ اللَّهُ إِلَّا بِالْحَقِّ وَلَا يَزْنُونَ وَمَنْ يَفْعَلْ ذَلِكَ يَلْقَ أَثَامَ يُضَاعَفْ لَهُ الْعَذَابُ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ وَيَخْلُدْ فِيهِ مُهَانَ And those who do not associate partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and do not kill a soul without righteousness and do not commit adultery, zina. وَمَنْ يَفْعَلْ ذَلِكَ يَلْقَ أَثَامَ And whoever does that will receive great sins يُضَاعَفْ لَهُ الْعَذَابُ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ وَأَخْلُدْ فِيهِ مُهَانَةً His punishment will be uh, doubled on the day of judgment and he will stay in it for eternity. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says إِلَّا مَنْ تَابَ وَآمَنَ وَعَمِلَ عَمَلًا صَالِحًا فَأُولَئِكَ يُبَدِّلُ اللَّهُ سَيِّئَاتِهِمْ حَسَنَاتٍ وَكَانَ اللَّهُ غَفُورًا رَحِيمًا Other than those who repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and do good deeds, then those for those Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will replace their sins with good deeds. Look at the generosity, subhanAllah. You will never find this kind of generosity anywhere else. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promises you that if you repent sincerely and you believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you do good deeds that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will replace your bad, your sins with good deeds. For that reason, it is always important to constantly repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and never give up. Now, one thing to keep in mind, there are certain sins that you need to um, do other things when you repent. For example, if you stole something, you should return what you stole. Other things such as backbiting, when you speak about people behind their back or slander them, there are two ways you can go about it. One way is to ask for the forgiveness of the person. And if you think that that would cause a problem, knowing that you spoke about them behind their back in a poor matter, and you don't want to ruin your relationship with that brother or that sister, then you make dua for them, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives them. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to, to make us amongst those who constantly repent to him and to replace our sins with good deeds. أقول قولي هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم فاستغفروه إنه هو الغفور الرحيم.